So we are back with the broke farmer number two. I have not added any money. As you see, we have actually lost money, I guess, just from taxes and stuff like that. So I think we left off at a, around $4,000. We're down to $3,970, but that's okay. I also cut some wood last night. I got it stacked on the trailer. It's ready to go sell. But like I said, I'm not gonna do any of the selling or any of that without you guys. Also, thank you to everybody who gave the last video a thumbs up and left comments down below. I read pretty much all of them, so I thank you all. Tons of suggestions. We got some really good ones for hay, even a greenhouse. I never even thought about that because it's new to Farming Sim 22. So the greenhouse was something I didn't even think about. So that might be potentially something we can do. Used vehicles. So we're going to check out the used vehicles that are for sale today. I think every day, I might be wrong on this, but I think every day it'll be a new random set of used stuff. So we'll see what we have today. Hopefully it's something we need. I feel like the chances of that are probably pretty low because we basically only need a hay cutter. Really, we only need a hay cutter to start with. We could use like a tether or a rake because I think we're going to go the hay route. That's what seems like almost all of you suggested and a few greenhouses and some other things. Also, the way this season works so is every video is going to be a month. So every day that goes by is going to be one month in game. We got a heavy rain last night, so that should be doing good for our corn. As you see, it is already starting to grow. I think we might have made a mistake though by planting this because I I just really don't see us having a harvester purchased um, by the time this is ready to harvest. So we might have to just let this wither away unless somehow a used one comes up for sale that we need and we have the money, but I just don't, I just don't think we can do that. So here's what we should do today. Let's get in our tractor. Let's go get our logs. Let's go sell those, see how much money we can make. And then hopefully we can buy a mower we're gonna go buy some chicken food also. Let's start off though by checking the used equipment. I don't wanna forget about that. Hopefully it's something good. Which one is it? This one right here that we need? Oh, no way. A, a mower, $6,258. We can almost afford that. Once we go sell these logs, I bet you we can afford that. There's no way. How much is that new? Cause I think the cheapest one was like around $9,000 if I'm not mistaken. 12, so yeah, 9,500 was that one. So this is the one we just looked at, right? The F240? It is. It, it's almost half off. Okay, that is wild. I feel like the chances of that are super, super, super low. But when you're starting off with $0, you have to get lucky along the way. So it looks like we might have gotten lucky. So our corn is growing. I'm a little concerned about that, like I said, though. Our animals are doing good. We need to go get chicken food. So I want to run to town. I want to go sell these logs. And then hopefully we have enough to buy that mower and some chicken food. That would be nice to get two and one. Oh no. So here's our logs. As you see, we have a mess. What happened? I guess the storm last night might have uh, knocked them over. All right, well, we got to clean this mess up. So we took out three trees. I'll even show you where they are. One right here, one right there. And then there's there was one more, I think like right there or something. But I'm trying not to take out too many of the trees because I, like I like the trees there. Okay, we got to clean this mess up though. What a disaster we have going on right here. We have a few pieces left. I don't want to leave anything behind because literally we might need every last dollar to be able to buy what we need. So I don't want to have to make another trip because I just, time is money right now. We're wasting diesel doing stuff like that. So I really don't want to have to go that route. Okay, I'm, I think that'll stay on, hopefully. Oh, we lost one right there. No, I, we got to take it. Like I said, though, we can't leave anything behind. We got to take advantage of every thing we have so slide that under there i'll say i'm gonna drive slow i have no option but driving slow with this tractor i'm not even pressing the gas the weight is just taking us right now it's not in cruise control nothing it tells you we have a lot of logs here okay so i think we're at almost four thousand dollars how much was this again 6200 okay we should have enough for that but with that and the chicken feed it's gonna be close so i think we need to get around like 7500 for all of this and we should be good okay here goes nothing so like i said we need to be around eight thousand dollars i think for all of this oh yes fourteen thousand okay so the tree business is really really good to start if any of y'all are doing this at home trees is the best way to start i mean you literally only need a tractor a trailer and a chainsaw and you can make decent money doing so before the thing goes for before it sells out. I think we just buy it, right? Like I, I think so. Okay, perfect. That leaves us with eight thousand dollars. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of what the best option is. I think we need to buy 
chicken food for sure because once they start producing eggs we can sell the eggs so we need to get them their food so let's see because i missed this last time i didn't notice that it. it's literally right there the orange thing how did i miss this so let's go ahead and buy that so that leaves us with six thousand six hundred dollars okay so if we wanted to buy a tether for our hay we're almost there so the tether is gonna be right there what's the cheapest one seven thousand we almost have enough okay so we might have to start cutting some hay feed our animals and maybe do another log run or two okay let's let's get to town how far are we from the shop okay the shop is way over there okay all right well, let's get going so we're finally made it to town it took a while with this tractor if you guys could give this video a thumbs up though it lets me know that you do enjoy these types of series Ooh, this guy has got weeds galore in his field holy moly but it lets me know that you guys do enjoy these types of series so i would appreciate it and thank you and Hudson will probably be back for the next one. I said I know he would be here for this one. He's he's just not really good trying when we're being broke. Because like I said, he loves to just spin, 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 spin. So once we get a few more things in our farm, I'll definitely bring him back. Okay, I think the best way to do this is to try and put the hay cutter on the trailer along with the pallet. I didn't even check if this tractor has enough horsepower for this mower. I'm just going to assume. So here's what we'll do. We'll lower the ramps to that. And I don't want to put too much weight in the back of the trailer because then it's just going to go into the air. But we might not have an option right now. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to hook up to the mower and then we're going to try and back up onto the trailer and drop it off. I know that's probably not the safest route. we got to move these pallet out of the way. There we go. But it's kind of the only route because I don't want to have to come back to town just to get one of these items. So I want to really take them both at the same time if we can. That right there, that's perfect. We didn't have to drive too far on there. That should be perfectly fine. Okay, good. I like that. That's perfect. Now, luckily, it rained last night, so we're good to mow. There is no rain in the forecast. So that was really nice because it watered our corn, which is really good in the growing stages. And you don't want your hay to get wet. So now we can mow. There's no rain in the forecast, so we should be good to go. Now let's get our chicken feed. Let's strap all that down. All right, off we go. Now we have the long drive up the hill back to our farm, but I'm not too mad because... We got $6,000 in our pocket and we have chicken feed and a mower. So we're doing pretty good right now. I'm actually, I'm happy with how this is going. How about you guys? What are your thoughts so far? Should we invest in a greenhouse? I might do that before the video is over today, actually, because how much are the greenhouses? Uh, let's see here. Construction. Oh, there goes our guy. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can't. <laughs> we're just not going to oversize. Let's get out to the open. Then I'll look at that the next time. Let's get in this, uh, in this field right here. Then I'll do that. Okay, now I can look at the greenhouses. How much is it? Okay, construction, production, greenhouse. Okay, so small is only 3,000, which is really cheap. But I don't I don't know anything about this, so I'm assuming you need water and probably seed. Yeah, water and seed of some sort. I don't know anything about the greenhouses, so that's something I will have to look into. I kind of want to save our money, though, because we have to buy a tether and a rake. We're already almost finished with our hay collection, so I want to get that finished first, I think before we start buying more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. So I think that's probably the smart thing to do. Finish all of our hay equipment. We have a tractor that can run all of it. As I say that, it sounded like it was about to die. It can run all of that stuff. So I think that's the smart thing to do. And then maybe we'll buy a greenhouse. We might need to invest in a bigger tractor. That is gonna be one thing for sure we're gonna need for this farm. Okay, let's get back to the road. Maybe that'll help our tractor out a little bit. Yep, I know. I, I know <laughs> we're slow I, I get it trust me we're moving on at a, at a hot 13 mile an hour right now okay our farm is on the other side of those rocks and trees so I'm just gonna cut across the grass again it's the fastest way okay this track we got to upgrade tractors boys um how much is like a, a tractor around here I really want like a like a 4400 Ooh, 40,000 okay we got a while to save up for one of those then. I mean, we could sell this one, but we're not going to get much for it. We'll see how much we make with... Let's feed Let's feed these uh, chickens first. Okay, let's lower the ramp so we can get our hay cutter off. Let's feed these chickens. I know y'all are probably hungry. There we go. Feed it up. Feed it up. Fill it to the top. So let's check out our chickens now. Because they were not producing anything last time we looked. So now they should be. Why is their productivity still at zero? I don't get it. Let's buy a few of the older ones, actually. Let's buy four of them. Because those will be the ones that I believe start producing the eggs now. 
Because the younger ones, I don't think, can produce eggs. So let's see now. How, how are we looking now? It still shows no productivity. Okay, I'll have to figure out the chicken stuff still. I'm, I'm a little confused on it. Let's get our hay cutter and let's start mowing some hay. I'm excited about that. Where should we mow? That's a huge field we have over there. That'll probably be where we mow. I also want to get a, like a little hand mower so we can clean up our shed. It is a disaster in there. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Okay, this is a perfect spot right here. Okay, unfold it. All I ask is that you please work. Just please be able to run it. I can. Okay, thank you. Woo! Okay, it actually mows it pretty quick too, so this isn't going to take too long. Question now, like I said though, is how much do we mow? How much do we really want to bite off? Because it is just us with one tractor, small equipment. Okay, I don't really know how much more we want to do. I think we go like somewhere like right around here. We'll just kind of square it off a little bit. We'll make it look nicer than that whenever we're finished. Because it is just me and y'all. We have no one else to help us. So we have no other tractors. We're not going to hire anybody. So this is all by ourselves. I think what I'll do is I'll probably get the field somewhat cut here. We'll do one more load of trees. See how much money we can make from that. Let's not ruin our corn. Next time we'll have to buy a rake and then we can start bailing, which I'm excited about because then that's where we'll start seeing the money and all the money we've invested, hopefully start coming back. And I really want to make sure we have enough to buy a harvester. Because if we don't, that is a waste of seed and time and money. That's really going to hurt if we can't harvest that corn right there. So I, I really hope we can. I just, I'm not sure we're going to be able to make it. We might need to just scrap the corn and go for the greenhouse. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure the, I'm not sure what's the best route. I kind of wish we had a round beller instead of a square beller too. Because round beller is just, it's so much easier. You get more hay into one bundle. It's easier to handle, but... The farm came with a square beller, so I'm not going to buy a round beller. We're going to have to just play the hand we're dealt. That's what we have. It saves us money, so we're going to have to just use it. But I do plan on buying a round beller one day for this farm. It's just so much easier, like I said. So that will be something that we end up purchasing behind the harvester and all the other things we need to buy. I want to invest in a better tractor, too. This tractor has done actually really good. I've been happy with this tractor, but we definitely will need to upgrade at some point. We're gonna have to disc that field right there after we harvest it, if we harvest it, or even if we don't harvest it and it just withers, we still gotta disc that field. And I'm probably willing to bet there's not any sort of disc that this tractor can pull. So we will have to upgrade tractors for sure. That is like a necessity at this point. Okay, I'm gonna pause on the mowing for now. I will resume mowing that area when we come back. But what we're gonna do this time is I wanna get that trailer, go chop down a few more trees. I'm trying not to cut down too many trees. But that really is the only way for us to currently make money. So I'll go cut down a few more trees so we can afford a tether. And we'll purchase that tether today. That way you guys can see the tether has been purchased. And I'll probably go pick it up and finish mowing um, off camera. But that way you know what we purchased. We'll probably have almost zero dollars left after that. So let's see. Do we need only, We might only need to cut down one tree. How much was the tether? Wait, what is the used vehicles? Okay, so I could wait technically. But the tether I think is so cheap that... It, 7,000. Yeah, I think we just buy a new one, a new tether. I'm, I'm cool with buying a new tether. So I think that's what we do is we'll cut down one tree here, buy a new tether, and then hopefully tomorrow when we get lucky and there there's a rake there. I doubt it. Like I, we got so lucky with that hay cutter. It's actually wild how lucky we got. Um, so I think, I think we just bite the bullet on the new tether and we buy a new one. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with buying a new one. We know it's not worn out and it's not going to break. So I'll be okay with that. Both the trusty chainsaw. This is the uh, saving grace right here. Without this chainsaw, we'd already be dead. So I really think that we have this chainsaw. Okay, well, that was not ideal. Let's go ahead and clean these limbs off and uh, get it off our trailer. I feel like we're going to be like one of those videos where the guy cuts the limb where he's standing on and falls. Oh, just like that. All right, let's cut this good spot off. Get it out of the way. Uh, this should give us enough to purchase a tether. That way I can go pick it up and do the long drive without y'all because I know that is not exactly what y'all want to watch is me just driving to the shop again. It takes so long with this tractor. But I want y'all to see, like I said, every bit of money made and every bit of money spent, I want y'all to see it. That way y'all, we're all in this together and I like y'all's help and I'm going to need y'all's help because that greenhouse, like I said, I never would have thought of that. But a lot of y'all said that it's an easy way to make a good chunk of money. So, uh... 
we might be doing the greenhouse. I don't know anything about it, but we're gonna learn together, so. Okay, I wanna sell this, buy a tether, and then I wanna finish cutting that field and then going and picking up the tether. So let's get this sold. That should bring us to, I don't know, probably about $8,000 or so. And that'll be just enough to buy that tether, so I'm excited about that. We are on the path. We have made our path of the hay route and the animal route and potentially the greenhouse route. So we chose our path. We're going through with it, and it seems like it might be working. Uh, we started off by planting corn, which was probably a mistake, like I said. But, hey, you live and learn. Here we are. We're, we're doing okay. How much are you going to give us for this? I know it won't be as much as last time, but... Okay, 2600 So it gives us 9000 That is just enough to buy this guy right here. I'm not even going to wait. We're buying you. That's what we need. We don't need to bring the trailer with us this time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this trailer back to the farm. I'm gonna finish mowing. We're at $2,133. When we come back, we'll probably be somewhere floating around 2,000 because once we sleep, we lose money on taxes. So what I'm gonna do off record is I'm going to finish mowing that field because that is really boring. I don't want y'all to watch that. And I'll go to town, pick up that tether, bring it to our farm. So when we come back, We'll have a field ready to tether. We'll probably have to cut down a few more trees to buy a rake, unless one is for sale in the used section again, which would be ginormous. I just feel like we're probably not gonna get that lucky. And our corn will be taller and we still don't have a harvester. So I thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, please. If you do enjoy this series, I would appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thank you, subscribe to the channel. Go follow our Instagram if you have not. Tons of videos coming your way, good ones. So I, I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, Make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Bye.